A training course on the detection of firearms trafficking opened earlier today at the Police Training Academy at Latok. The United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime and CARICOM Impacts is facilitating the training, which will focus on detection of firearms trafficking through postal and fast parcels and at land and maritime borders targeting competent law enforcement, customs, defense and security forces responsible for border controls. CARICOM Impacts Regional Crime and Security Strategy Coordinator Callistus Joseph explained that representatives of St. Lucia and CARICOM Impacts recently met with representatives of the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives, ATF, to create a structured framework to assist the Royal St. Lucia Police Force to enhance its tracing capabilities. Getting illegal firearms off our streets and out of the hands of criminals means less violence. And that means safer communities. You'd have a safer view fort, you'd have a safer castries, a safer ancillary, and a safer St. Lucia. CARICOM impacts through our collective actions with national authorities in CARICOM, international authorities, civil society organizations, research institutions, and other partners will work with the government of St. Lucia to prevent the trafficking of illicit firearms and ensure illicit guns do not end up on the streets. The training came into being after CARICOM Impacts and the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, UNODC, participated in a needs assessment and consultations with the government of St. Lucia, which included key entities. A number of issues were brought to the fore which required immediate assistance. These included the strengthening of the country's firearms tracing mechanism to assist criminal investigators to track the origin and purchase of crime gangs to support criminal prosecutors and capacity building training on the detection of firearms trafficking. Deputy Permanent Secretary in the Department of Home Affairs, Ricky Quinlan, highlighting the challenges faced by St. Lucia in detecting firearms trafficking, welcomed the training. The Caribbean, with St. Lucia being no exception, has been grappling with the entry of illicit firearms and the misuse of these firearms, primarily by criminal elements, to terrorize, steal, pillage and take lives. The crime landscape has changed completely as guns have become the preferred weapons for settling scores no matter how trivial, re resulting in oftentimes in homicides. That is why the government continues to subscribe to the Caribbean Firearms Roadmap. It is very well articulated that the UNODC Global Firearms Project supports regional efforts to counter the illicit circulation of firearms and to curtail the linkages to other serious crimes. The United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime and CARICOM Impacts will facilitate the training, which will take place from September 21 to 24, 2021, at the Police Training Academy at La Talk. Following this training, St. Lucia will be equipped with additional capabilities to help law enforcement officials identify gang traffickers, potential suspects, and patterns of violent gang crime to help solve criminal cases. From the Government Information Service, I am Janelle Norville.